So we have a winner for the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The member associations of Canada, Mexico and USA have been selected by the FIFA Congress to host the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Thank you. Anyway, let's get into the show. The 2026 FIFA World Cup is just around the corner. With just two years away, teams across the world are competing in the qualifiers to separate the best teams from the worst. The biggest ever edition of the Global Showpiece will see 104 games featuring 48 teams played across 16 host cities in three countries – Canada, Mexico and the United States. The major takeaways 11 US cities were selected from the candidate pool with three cities in Mexico and two cities in Canada. It will be the first World Cup hosted by more than one nation since 2002 when Japan and South Korea shared the honors. And it'll be the first World Cup with three hosts. Mexico will make history as the first nation to host or co-host for a third time following 1970 and 1986. The US will be second time hosts following 1994 and it will be Canada's first time hosting the men's tournament. Furthermore, it will be the first World Cup to boast 48 qualified teams following FIFA's vote in 2017 to expand the field from 32 sides which had been the standard since France 1998. For the initial group stage, teams will compete in 12 groups of 4 teams, with the top 2 teams from each group advancing to a round of 32. Plus the eight best third place teams, progressing which will be single elimination all the way through to the final. Three group stages and five knockout matches, eight games will stand between one nation in football history. All in all, 104 matches will be spread across 16 venues, with the US hosting 78 games, including the quarterfinals, semi-finals and final, with Mexico taking 13 matches and Canada also taking 13 matches. The venues are divided into three regions, East, Central and West. In Canada, Toronto has hosted significant international football events, starting with Canada's first World Cup entry back in 1957. And as arguably the most multicultural, the 2026 FIFA World Cup will showcase its matches in two iconic stadiums. First is BMO Field in Toronto, Ontario, a venue known for its vibrant atmosphere and a seating capacity of 30,000, expandable to 40,000. This stadium is a central hub for Canadian football and promises to bring an electrifying experience. The second is BC Place in Vancouver, British Columbia, with a capacity of 54,000. BC Place is renowned for its retractable roof, the largest of its kind in the world, offering a unique viewing experience. The United States is the second country to host the 2026 FIFA World Cup across a selection of its most iconic and technologically advanced stadiums. The Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, with a capacity of 71,000, boasts a unique retractable roof and a 360-degree HD video board. Gillette Stadium in Boston, Massachusetts, home to a passionate sports culture, seats 65, 878 fans. The AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas, known for its massive capacity of 80,000 and a gigantic high-definition video screen, is the epitome of modern stadium design, and it will be hosting the semi-finals match. Houston's NRG Stadium, with 71,795 seats, features a retractable roof and an impressive array of facilities. In Kansas City, Missouri, the Arrowhead Stadium, with a capacity of 76,416, renowned for its electrifying atmosphere, is set to host a quarter-final match. Miami's Hard Rock Stadium, seating 64,767, is set to host a quarter-final match and third-place match, and is known for its innovative canopy design and modern amenities. Met Live Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, serving the New York area, is set to host the final match, and can hold 82,500 fans. Philadelphia's Lincoln Financial Field, with a capacity of 69,000, almost 500 concession stands and both luxury and club seating areas. Lastly, Seattle's Lumen Field, with a 69,000 capacity, is famous for its loud and vibrant crowd. Mexico will be the third country in North America who will be showcasing three exceptional stadiums, each with its unique features and advanced technology. Estadio Akron in Guadalajara, Jalisco, with a capacity of 47,000, is known for its innovative design, resembling a volcano to reflect the local landscape. Estadio Azteca in Mexico City, the largest of the three with a capacity of 87,523, will host the opening match of the World Cup on June 11, 2026. Lastly, Estadio BBVA in Monterrey, Nuevo León, with a capacity of 53,500, sits at the heart of the restored Parque La Pastora. Aside from all the stadiums being used, let's take a look at the history of football in the US, Canada and Mexico. 
Football in the United States has a nuanced history. The turning point came in 1994 when the USA hosted the FIFA World Cup, a monumental event that significantly boosted soccer's profile in the country. This event not only set record attendances but also led to the formation of Major League Soccer, the MLS, in 1996, solidifying professional soccer's presence in the US and Canada. Since then, the sport has seen a steady rise in popularity with increasing youth participation, successful US national teams and a growing fan base. The 1994 World Cup thus marked a pivotal moment, catalyzing soccer's ongoing journey into the mainstream of American sports culture. Now, if we turn our attention towards Canada, it's safe to say the MLS has played a substantial role in the growth of Canadian football teams. Toronto FC was formed in 2005, Vancouver Whitecaps FC was established in the 70s but officially joined the MLS in 2009, and Montreal Impact, now CF Montreal, was founded in 1993 and joined the MLS in 2012. These teams have played a significant role in elevating the sports profile in Canada. With the country set to co-host the upcoming 2026 FIFA World Cup, there is a substantial opportunity to further propel the growth of football. The event is expected to ignite widespread enthusiasm and participation at grassroots levels, enhance the professional landscape, and potentially establish Canada as a significant force in international football. The very first time the World Cup made an appearance in North America was in 1970. Benefiting from infrastructure put in place for the 1968 Olympic Games, Mexico was able to organize a tournament that lived long in the memory of football fans around the globe. Football in Mexico boasts a rich and outstanding history, deeply ingrained in the country's culture. The sport was introduced in the late 19th century and quickly became the nation's most popular. This event was historic, not only for Mexico, but for football globally, as it was the first World Cup to be broadcast in colour, significantly enhancing the viewing experience and expanding the sport's global appeal. The tournament showcased the legendary talents of players like Pelé and solidified football as a truly global phenomenon. The 1970 World Cup also left a lasting legacy in Mexico, promoting the development of football infrastructure and inspiring a new generation of players and fans. The 2026 FIFA World Cup is expected to bring significant economic benefits to the host cities. The event can act as a catalyst for job creation, both in the lead-up to and during the tournament. Jobs in construction, hospitality, tourism and event management are likely to see a surge as cities prepare to host an influx of international visitors. This tourism boost will further contribute to local economies with increased spending on accommodation, dining and entertainment. Infrastructure development is another major area of impact. Host cities often undertake significant projects to improve transportation, telecommunications and stadium facilities, which not only serve the immediate needs of the World Cup, but also leave a lasting legacy in terms of improved urban infrastructure. These projects can stimulate local economies and provide employment opportunities. The economic ripple effects of hosting a World Cup can be extensive, with the potential to impact various sectors and contribute to long-term economic growth in the host cities. The upcoming World Cup, just like previous events, will bring long-term benefits to the host cities and the sport. Jobs, careers, opportunities, economic changes, advanced infrastructure, transportation and sports-related opportunities in schools. Henceforth, a thriving opportunity for each city. This is what the beautiful game of football has to offer to the world. It is not just a game, it is the embodiment of people coming together to enjoy and celebrate each pass of the ball. This is Football X. Until next time.